Hello, welcome inside the Mind of Matt. And in this video, I am going to review some filament. Now, I was uh, scrolling through the Facebook pages of all the 3D printing groups, and I come across the post where it said that they do a daily drawing for free filament. So I went over to the, their Facebook page, I clicked on the link that filled out a little information, and a couple days later said, congratulations, you won. So it gave me a link to pick what I wanted, and I sent away for some green PLA, and they sent me this uh, half roll of AIO Robotics, green PLA, 1.75 millimeter. So I have something very specific that I need in green, so I'm going to load this up, print that, and I'm going to print a couple other things and test out this filament, come back with the results, and maybe I'll have something to say about it. Stay tuned. Like I said, this is a free roll of filament that I won in the contest, and little did they know that it was sent to somebody with a, a YouTube channel and a 3D printer. So, because they sent it to me for free, I figured I'd give them a, a free review. So it comes in a really nice vacuum sealed, resealable, which I really like. These Some of these companies are putting resealable bags Makes it nice for storing it later on. It's a nice, nice green. So let's load it up, see what happens. So far so good, this is the first batch. Well, I can't show you those clothes, but that's private. I made this 0% infill. Three layers. Slicer said 15 hours. Took 32 hours. But this is my dragon egg.
Okay, so I spent a little bit of time printing some things as you saw from the time lapse. So let's take a closer look at some of the models and talk about it, and then I'll come to a conclusion. So, not necessarily in the order it printed, but let's go from smallest to biggest. So, this is the Marlin keychain that is required to be printed to pass a the test to become a, a 3D printing hub and it turned out pretty awesome I did print it at the required specs this is the only one of the models where I, I reduced uh, the layer height to one millimeter everything else was printed at point one six one eight ask Joel telling why he'll tell you I listen I did a little research and I've been printing at that since but anywho let's go on to this this is a calibration this is 30 by 30 but 10 by 10 10 by 10 I believe that this is 15 so it gives you a couple of different uh, measuring points to test what your accuracy of your your 3d printer and I haven't measured this but I was just trying to print with this stuff to see how well it printed and so far I am super happy with a free roll of filament so then I printed the Benchy now this Benchy is kind of special and I'm gonna set him aside and talk about him in a minute and then I printed this is a vase that I just designed just to kind of do a test I wanted to do something thin wall um, some of these prints are actually part of a test that I'm working on for another video so you'll get to see them again and then I printed the rocket ship and details great and this is one continuous outside shell this is vase mode so it's completely hollow and it printed printed great and as you see I got great first layers and of course this is my dragon egg and there's only this is the only blemish I found in any one of the prints and something happened right there at that layer but this took like 31 hours and 44 minutes so um, you know 30 32 hours I did not expect it to take as long as it did this Lexer said 15 hours it's hollow so this is not in vase mode but it's zero percent infill with three outer shells and something happened with my first layer and it, it just stuck to the bed I was a little too close but overall this free roll filament that was sent to me I'm super happy with the results and I would definitely uh, check out some of the filament to try in future projects I'll leave a link in the description to their website you can check out what they have there as well as sign up for that free uh, daily giveaway that they do and you might win a half roll of free filament too but that's pretty much the way I'm gonna test and, and review filament is I'm gonna print with it and if it prints and I don't have to do a bunch of funky stuff with it then it's successful to me this is just PLA I'm not looking for anything other than you know a color that's desired for a particular project that I'm working on and this just happened to fit the bill for something that I had that I was working on and I would definitely recommend using this filament and I'm gonna check out some more but if there's anybody else out there that'd like to send me free filament I'll give you a review so if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure that you set that notification to on so that you know when my next video is coming out. If you are one of my subscribers, thanks a lot. I appreciate your support. 
keep letting those ads play. Check out my links down in the description. Keep on coming back because there'll be more inside the mind of Matt. Happy printing and be safe porn. Now the reason that that was such a special benchy is because after I had put the new ramps board in my CR10, I tried to print a benchy and I could not get a benchy to print for the life of me. It got to a certain point and every single one of them started doing the same thing. After some close watching and some more test prints of some different objects, I discovered that the filament just was not feeding through the Bowden tube at all. It just wasn't feeding and it just like it was too cold. So I got checking in the Marlin firmware and I had set my thermistor and my bed for the wrong setting in my firmware and it just wasn't heating up properly. It was saying that it was 210 degrees but it wasn't 210 degrees. So once I fixed that I threw in this filament and everything's been working great.